level here, as Varosh again was saying here. But uh, yeah, Lita able to keep his single Wraiths alive, picking off Wraiths here that have no cloaking energy left on them whatsoever. And really unfortunate, probably going to take out another one, mass repair on that one. No, going to go down here, so Lita just doing an excellent job at just... Picking off so many units with this individual Wraith, finally going to lose that one Wraith, but it did its duty, did its job, picked off more than uh, its weight here in uh, Mineral and Gas count. So, yeah, now it's uh, now it's gone to factory mode for Lita here. He's got the Armory up, probably going to produce some Goliaths to deal with the, the Wraith threat, but which is almost non-existent now, so, um, but still producing Wraiths as Bye Baby, so this is, uh, I think this is looking pretty dire here. Yeah, uh, Lita's in a great position. Now that he's got that armory up, and he's, if he gets Karen boosters and starts pumping Goliaths, Goliaths are cheaper, they take more hits, and they, they like deal damage just as fast. They're so good against Wraiths. The only problem, of course, is the mobility and the detection. Uh, but uh, Lita's now going to have two scanning stations, and he's probably going to be able to deal with uh, babies. Uh, Raids pretty well. The, the GOM TV Classic that uh, Frank was talking about, the only game to the, uh, baby that I really remembered was him just getting absolutely wrecked by Sky High, who was like the first good Terran that he came up against. Sky High just like made a mockery of baby, and it was 2-0 and like some really not even close games. And I feel like now that, now that Lita's got a uh, Goliath out as he builds up that Goliath force, this could also turn into just like a clinic on how to defeat Wraiths. Um, Baby's, uh, he, he's a, he was just a little bit economically behind because he got his uh, command center up later, um, but he really hasn't done very much of anything with these Wraiths except for lose them. And in terms of ground forces, uh, Leda's, just, Leda's just building up a larger and larger force, and Baby, I feel, is barely producing any ground units, so he's going to have a much smaller force when the ground forces actually engage. Yeah, so now Lita is trying to find a way to that base, and the, the, we're finally going to see that back entrance being used. Well, we saw it the, the previous game on this uh, map we saw as well. Now the tank sieging, only a few wraiths out. They're going to get picked off rather easily, and that's a problem because there's still a lot of wraiths here for Bye Baby, and only one Goliath. So if he sees that, he could actually just pick off that entire lot, but he's not going to see that. and going to allow him to escape now. He's going to see it now. Only one Goliath. Come on, just kill it one Goliath. Kill it. Oh, you chicken shit little... Anyway, he's not going to do that. Um, instead, he's going to allow Lita to regroup. And I think that might have been a problem. Now, Lita has lost the last of his Wraith. No, he's still got one of those. Ah, finally, Bye Baby has caught on. If you see something wriggly, kill it before it kills two of your Wraiths like it did before. Anyway, now, going to Bye Baby going to siege up that side, trying to see if he can spot anything with those Wraiths, but there is nothing there to siege. Oh, bad luck. So, yeah, that was kind of a waste of time. It was Expansion is that Lita going to take his third, and yeah, so Bye Baby really searching that map to, for something to kill with his tanks, but finding nothing. Now finally going to see a few units there, but the thing is, Lita is going to go for that expansion, and he's going to have a little bit lower tube count, but there's no way in hell um, Bye Baby is going to be able to break that. Now going to muddle about with his tanks some more, and uh, yeah, macro up a little bit, but I think in the end. It's sort of okay now. A little bit of a fight here that, yeah, Lita's going to lose this one out of position, but he's going to go moving up the ramp now. We'll see what's going to happen. There's, yeah, there's a lot of Goliaths there now, so there's no way in hell he can take that force with only two tanks. And, uh, yeah, so Lita stomping down and marking his territory, and Bye Baby trying to kill something, but he just can't. Yeah, and it looks like the uh, the map is being sectioned off directly down the center now. And again, it is a two-thirds kind of map, so whoever takes the uh, that extra third there, they're going to be in the lead. But we do see Lita already setting up his third base. He's almost already there. Bye Baby also setting up his base, but I think that it's a, a little bit later there. Raid's coming in here, and Goliath's going to try to pick off these tanks. And I don't know if they're going to be able to do it, though. I don't think they're going to cause enough damage here, especially with these raids overhead doing that extra damage there. Splash damage going off across his own tanks, but still surviving with two out of three tanks, so a definite victory there for 
Excuse me, for bye baby there. Getting his tanks chased down by two Goliaths, though, so he's going to have to run back here. And these raids also picking away at that engineering bay. He, for some reason, he just really wants that engineering bay to go down. He focused fire that over some of the troops earlier. Um, he just really wants it to go down there. Finally, it does uh, get picked off. And now he's looking to set himself up across that little gap there again, which does range the downward ramp, I do want to point out. So really interesting um, and really nice positioning, I'd have to say. Really nice choice on where he sets up those tanks. But uh, he's giving Lita the opportunity to draw those, uh, to do that Etch-A-Sketch thing and just draw those lines across the map here. And I think actually Lita could probably take like three quarters of the map at this point if he wanted to. And he can definitely go into that exposed third base if he wants to. If he's got like two vultures or so, he could get over there and start owning face in that base. So, um, yeah, Wraith's still in the air though, so I guess it is still kind of a threat and a fourth base going up for Lita as well. So Lita playing the economic game here, and I think he's, uh, he's definitely ahead at this point. Um, and we're going to see though if he can hold this fourth base. I think that's what it's going to come down to. Yeah, Lita's playing this game really hungrily, like he's gotten every single expansion before Baby has, and this time, just as his third completes, he's already throwing down a fourth. Um, there's two tanks that were uh, right across the little thing from, oh, a drop is actually coming in, this is, uh, is that just for spotting, or is that an, a legitimate drop? It looks like four vultures are going to be dropped in, and um, one of them already dying to tanks, two actually already dead, trying to mine up tanks, but none of those mines going up, that was, oh my god, that was the most failure filled drop I've ever seen. It didn't do anything. I don't even know if it like got a hit off on a single unit. It was just drop mines, drop mines, and none of the mines went off. But now two tanks uh, were ferried into the into the main base and they're going to be able to perhaps pick off some supply depots. It's gonna, uh, Terran forces are so immobile that it's going to take Lita a while to bring back sufficient forces to be able to deal with that. Um, but he can afford to lose a couple of supply depots um, because he's going to be you know up a base and he's pushing across the map to the nine o'clock third base that baby's taken or no he's a little moment of indecision he's gonna be i feel like he's got a big force and he's gonna push him somewhere but it looks like he's just going to establish himself um deep into what should be baby's ter territory on the map and a little small little task force a strike force is coming in i don't know all all these scvs are trying like i think those are evacuating from the third base but not really doing much of anything and that third base is probably going to go down and, and lead is going to be up two bases this is going to be terrible for baby if it's allowed to happen yeah i thought for a moment there he was going to push all of his forces into that uh, expansion but in the last minute he decided no wait if i do that i'm going to get trapped so i only sent a few units in there to just kill well yeah there you go three goliaths to kill all the scvs and finish off the command center um, so that was basically Lita's answer. You kill several d supply depots, fine, I take out a base. So, because he can. Now, the, uh, my baby now forming a little bit of a front here, in, f in front of Lita's forces here, cutting off supply routes, but that command center is already burning, so he's probably going to get taken out. Look at that. Com the Goliath's just moving in straight away and just bumping into the tanks and killing them off. Just not quite killing them off but getting their HP low enough to get picked off by raids there so yeah this is not looking good Lita's on the march um, by baby is still macroing well he still has some forces the problem is he's down a base well what no two bases